It used to be the American Tobacco Warehouse, but it will soon be Richmond's answer to Soho. In just days, the doors will open at the 35,000 square foot Shaco Bottom Art Center. It may look rough around the edges now, but next week, an eclectic group of nearly 30 local artists will begin crafting their work here. I think it'll be an exciting space. I think that there'll be lots going on here, and it should be a big attraction all over central Virginia. People should be coming here, you know, on the tourist list. Eventually, the art center will be open for the public to view artists and buy their works. The facility was modeled after Old Town Alexandria's torpedo factory, where the combination of working and selling has become very lucrative for Northern Virginia artists. The public is a key part in that, you know, they come here, they see the artist's work, they either appreciate it or purchase it or, you know, whatever. But it's always going to be something new here for both the public and uh, for, you know, the artists themselves. Investors are also banking on the gallery's trendy location to attract the public as well. But for artists like Ann Sylvest, it's more than location that will make her new studio important. I've been painting alone for about a year and a half, and I need, I need people around me. I need, need that input and critique and just that energy. So I hope to find that here. While there will be a show here this weekend, the Shaco Bottom Art Center doesn't officially hold its grand opening until October. At that time, this space will be converted into a 3,000 square foot performance facility. Meantime, over the next four years, investors plan to put about a million dollars into this building to expand the center onto four more floors. In Shaco Bottom, Suzanne Kennedy, WTR News Channel 6.